Samsung finally released the One UI 8 Beta 4, guys, with the security patch level of 1st of July and the version ZYGB. Now, what is new here? Apparently, they did a lot of bug fixing. Probably, honorable mention goes to DeX because right now they added support for the full screen switching while playing videos using DeX, fixed an operational issue with the Galaxy Air, reply suggestions, a loading issue when Bixby routine commands are triggered via voice, a display issue in the Quink Launch icon, an issue with editing iNavi dash cam, fix an issue with the message fingerprint sender not responding, and some more issues with ongoing calls, and probably also this deserves an honorable mention, a flickering issue of the vertical horizontal level indicator when switching from the front to rear camera, and of course the enhanced software stability. Now, guys, something important i am not running this build all right i'm running the latest internal stable build which has the security patch from the first of august and is the byg9 which is technically newer i guess than the better four so honestly there is nothing really new that i can show you that i did not show already in all my other previous videos maybe i can just show a bit of the animations but the byg9 is really stable i daily drive this right now and it's working really like <laughs> a charm so this is a very very good build also it is device certified play protect certification i'm also able to use my cards not only on my phone also on my galaxy watch running already one year eight so this is a good good build and something that i wanted to test with you and sadly i cannot is this thing here so apparently when you go inside the developer's option there's going to be the linux terminal experimental run Linux terminal and Android when you try to install though right and you start let's say the terminal yeah sadly it's not going to work and the reason for this is that it just doesn't allow to run VMs unprotected VMs on the Snapdragon 8 Elite and this is also the reason why it runs on the Z Flip 7 because it runs the Exynos chip this is really really sad because I was hoping that finally you know I was able to kind of run like a KD or GNOME or whatever and also get like graphical support I cannot do this so it seems that Qualcomm should address this but in terms of smoothness and operations this is really a superior build also very important guys since you might be using the official Ford Beta a lot of the modules now do work the home app module work all right also Naughty Star module work uh, also the written plus got an update recently which is also a good model and there are also other models as well i do believe that also the multi-star hopefully is working i'm not sure if i have it but you can see i can go and i can update it and the multi-star model also supports one ui8 which means that a lot of the modules inside the good look are now being updated to support one ui8 and android 16 and i really hope that this is going to be kind of like the last beta before we get the stable thing here multi-star you can start it and it's going to work also lock screen this is very important guys the lock screen model also is working and i do believe that i've shown this in uh, one of my many videos uh, that i did covering whatnot nastar also works all right you can see i can uh, update nastar it's also going to support one year eight so a lot of the good lock modules do work like team park home up multi star naughty star uh, of course 100 operation plus it also got several updates so all of these things now have been updated to support and work with one year eight what about quick star if i click on quick star you can see quick star right <laughs> it's only updated to support one year seven but i hope that this thing is also going to start and we can test it right away so we have the game booster we have the home up we have keys cafe we have nice sketch it's one hand operation plus i already shown to you we have wonderland wonderland also worked before so pretty much guys all the modules and when you open good lock i just urge you guys just click update all and then you're going to update all the modules this is the lockstar lockstar also do work with you know this new five fingerprint animation the last one being from the a series someone told me so i'm just thinking samsung is gearing up for the final one year stable release one year eight and i really hope this thing is gonna be released very soon because this is budget crazy and very stable and it's probably one of the best one year eyes that i've seen in the recent years guys so this is not the better four but the better four anyway doesn't really have a lot of new stuff that i did not show so if you want to check really all these things just go and watch my previous videos anyway better four out hopefully the next thing is going to be one year eight stable thank you and bye